Hello, Dobro Din. Welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel here in Moscow, Russia. Today I bring you unboxing with trusty knife. Today I bring you case Silverstone Temjin TJ04E Evolution. Here in Russia, the girls come running to me when I say the words of them to Takur Krashivia. They come up to me like the wolf to the sheep. That is said, let's move on now and let's stick the knife into the cardboard, huh? All right, now that I've got rid of that Russian guy, let's go back into our normal unboxing. You guys can see it's the Silverstone Design Inspiration. This is the Temjin Series TJ04E Evolution featuring USB 3.0. I think the one that we got today is black. I don't know if it has a window or not. We'll jump into it. But here's the front of the box. I'm gonna spin it around. Here are actually all the features. Here we start from the side of the box, the TJ04E specifications. Here's the model number, SST TJ04B-E if it's black. It's also got the dash EW if it's got the window. The material is aluminum front panel and steel body. The motherboard, it fits all the way up to ATX, up to 12 by 10.9 micro ATX. The driver bays, external, 5.25 bays, there's four. Internal, 3.5 times nine, it says optional 3.5 times eight plus 2.5 times one. Wow, lots of numbers, 2.5 by six, lots of stuff. Right, these are the fans. We have one times 120 millimeter intake fan, 12,000, excuse me, 1200 RPMs, 21 dBA, that's how loud it is. Then we have another right fan, one by 120 millimeter fan, slot optional, maybe that's not in there. The rear, it says we have a one by 120 millimeter exhaust fan, 1200 RPMs, another 21 dBA. Top fans, it says one by 20, 120 millimeter intake fans, 1200 RPMs, 21 dBA, Got a lot of stuff here. One by 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter fan slot optional. Bottom, one by 120 millimeter fan slot optional as well. Expansion slots are eight. That means you put eight cards inside of it. Here are the I.O. ports. USB, 3.0 times two. Audio by one, mic by one. Power supply, use the standard PS2 ATX. Let's see, your expansion cards, compatible up to 17 inches in length. That means you have a 17 inch length card. Not too many cards are that big, if any. Dimensions, 214 millimeters wide by 489 millimeters height by 490 millimeters in depth. Let's go ahead now and actually begin to actually unbox this baby. All right, folks, like usual, we're gonna to have to take a couple knife cuts to get into the box. The first one's gonna be right here. We'll have some cool sound effects. You guys can hear it as I go across this thing. That's cut number one. Cut number two is gonna be down the very center. I'm gonna go ahead and take the knife down here, cut through there. There we go, it's working out nicely now. All right, then pop that off. The other side as well. Now, this can be very easy or very difficult to take out depending on how you do it. All right, case unboxing is so much fun. You're trying to maneuver around without hitting the microphone, hitting the cameraman. Fun stuff, fun stuff. These are the days I go up. Hopefully I won't hit the microphone. Oh yeah, I'm able to clear it. So there we go. Here is the box. And sound effects on now. I love this shit. All right, so here we're gonna take a look at the accessories pack. Got the trusty knife out again. A couple of cuts here. Hopefully it won't cut my hand off. I'll go away from me just to be on the safe side. Lots of stuff comes in this, so. So as we jump into the accessories pack, right off the bat, we have cooling fins. You can see they're all gonna be mountable. These are gonna have something to do with the cooling inside of the case. I don't know yet. Like I said, this is the unboxing discovery video, first look thing. It does, however, come with two of those. They're inside of here. You can see they're inside these little tiny little white packs right here. And there are two of these. Also got some other nifty stuff in here. Got some wiring harness plug stuff, as you can see right here. These are for your power, for your SATA. Lots of those right there. Eight altogether, in fact. So that's pretty nice. It's gonna help with cable management as well. This is a three pin header for USB 3.0. You have a couple different options to use on this one. We also have all the bolts and all the accessories, all that good stuff. Last but not least in the box, we have the TJ04E manual. So that's all the stuff. That was basically the accessories pack. Don't really cover that too much. Now let's go ahead and start removing the outer parts of the case. Go ahead and put that there. Take this off. 
their feet on the bottom. So I'll now be able to just go ahead, make sure it doesn't come out of the plastic that way, but it does. So let's just go ahead, we'll just do a cold, cool unboxing. Let's start off here. Right on the bottom, we can see we have removable mesh screens right here. So all the dust that's being pulled up into your case as your airflow goes through it will be caught on these and not all stuck inside your case. You can wash these very easily. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of liking the way this is going. Now I'm going to flip it over. All right, so there we go. Case is completely out of the box. So here we go. We're going to start off the top of the case. You can see the two USB 3.0 ports are here. For those guys you asked, yes, they are compatible with both the old USB 1.0 and 2.0. You have your headphone and your mic also here on top. On top here is another fan bay. I'm just going to kind of angle that slightly for you guys to see it. This is filtered as well. I believe it's removable. I don't really want to start popping too much stuff off of it right now, but I believe this might be removable. Yes, it is. I see it right here. So I guess I will do it. There you guys can see it. It's completely removable. There's a fan right here, like we talked about, the 120 millimeter. The optional one is not there. Let me go ahead and put that back. Move it out of the way. Take a look at the very front of the case. You can see we have one, two, three, four bays right here. These are the ones you can even put your standard CD drive in or whatever, or if you get an adapter, you can put something else in there like a floppy. Your start and your restart button are down here, along with your HDD and power button lights. All this right here, very clean, nice, elegant design. Show you guys this side real quick. There are two screws to be removed on each side. One here, another here. These are completely toolless in design. You can just use your hand. They're not even very tight in there, which is nice. They're just holding it good, but they're not very tight. I like that because sometimes it's hard to get off. Also, another thing to take note of, we have another fan screen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off. You guys can see there's another one of those 120 millimeter fans right here. With once again, the option to have another one, but it's not there. All right, that was excellent. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, now we see we removed the side door. There's plenty of room back here for your cable management. My hand can very easily fit all through here. There's no sharp edges whatsoever. Motherboard tray is not removable, but take a look at how much width there is right here. You'll be able to easily access your CPU to remove it or APU or whatever else you need to do and get it out there. Cable mints can also be very well because you have all these holes right here. Now, there's not any rubber grommets on those. Some people might complain about that. It's not really that big deal to me. The biggest deal to me is being able to actually hide all the cables. And I believe you're gonna be able to do that very well. Plenty of room back here, no sharp edges. Here's that 120 millimeter fan we were talking about before. It's sitting right here with a nice plug. Here's the additional wiring harness that goes to your front stuff. I'll go ahead now, I'm gonna move around, show you guys the rear. Once again, 120 millimeter fan. There are two things right here for using liquid coolant if you want to. These are actually metal plates as well. So I'll go ahead and pop this here. If you wanted to use them, you can remove them. Otherwise, they just stay in here. I think rubber grommets would have actually been better, but this is the way they designed it, and it's been pretty good so far. There are a couple things that could have been better. Rubber grommets here on the inside I would have liked. Here's all your rear stuff. This is where all your video cards are going to go. Once again, here's where your power supply goes. Two screws. One here on top, one here on the bottom. Once again, we get the bang. And let's take a look at this one right here, folks. Remember we said there are two different models? This is obviously the EW model. It comes with a nice clear window. I always think that's a plus. I think most of you do. Um, unless you're having a system that's like totally quiet and you're going for totally like noise reduction, I like to have a window. It shows off the shit that's inside of your case. And if I'm gonna take the time to fucking make it radical, I wanna see it. I think you do too. All right, we'll move that out of the way. Flip it around here. Let's take a look at the inside and the side here. Take a look right off the bat at this big, huge metal handle right here. This is very interesting. This whole side piece is supposed to be removable. This does look though, however, like you would have to have a tool to do it. Either that or you can carry it by this. You guys know my unboxings. I don't do anything but unbox it into like a self-discovery video. So I'll be figuring this out when you actually put something into it. All your drive bays right here, all are lockable. So you just put a drive in there, go ahead and close this back up and it locks your drive in there. You don't need any screws or anything else. Pretty good design. Down here at the bottom, these are where you can put all your SSDs. So up here, it doesn't even matter. You have all your SSD storage you can put right here. It looks like you can put four of them in right there. There's lots of space up here inside of the case as well. 
Here you guys can see the inside of the case. It's really hard to get the camera deep inside of it unless I go just moving crazily in there. But this is it, you guys can see it. So overall, there's lots of room for everything in here. Let me just flip it around, guys. It's totally clean and elegant. Lots of room inside of the case. There's not a removable back plate, but you can easily access the CPU, as I said, through this little hole right through here. But overall, I gotta say, the new Temjin TJ04 Evolution is a pretty nice looking case. It has decent features. All the way around, cable management looks like it's gonna be good. That's about it, guys. This has been the unboxing. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. We will see you back here in Moscow next time, comrades.